Hello students, in this video we'll discuss how to compute the exponential of a matrix. To compute the exponential of a square matrix, and it's important that it has to be square in order to exponentiate, we sum the series exponential of a matrix A is the identity matrix first plus the matrix A itself plus A squared over 2 factorial. So I square the matrix A and divide every entry in the matrix by 2 factorial. Then I cube the matrix A, divide by 3 factorial, and I do this pattern forever and add all these matrices up. I can compactify this and write this as one sum. The sum, n goes from 0 to infinity, the matrix A to the power n over n factorial. And we should recall that this looks very similar to the definition of the Taylor series of e to the x. Recall that e to the x is the sum, n goes from 0 to infinity of x to the n over n factorial. So to compute the exponential of a matrix, I make the analogy with the Taylor expansion of e to the x. So let's see a few examples of how we compute these exponentials. Here's the first example. Let's find the exponential of the matrix 2, 0, 0, 3. In order to compute the exponential of this matrix, I will need to find every power of the matrix in question. So, if I let my matrix A be 2, 0, 0, 3, we can compute A squared, and we'll see that A squared, written like this, it doesn't matter which order I put the matrices in, since the matrix is exactly the same. If I look at the first entry, I see a 2 times 2 and a 0 times 0, that gives me a 4. Then a 2 times 0, a 0 times 3, that's 0. A 0 times 2, a 3 times 0, that's 0. And a 0 times 0, that's 0. And a 3 times 3, that's 9. And what we have here is we can start to see a pattern sort of develop. I have 2 squared, 0, 0, 3 squared. And in fact, in general, any power of this matrix, a to the n, will be 2 to the n, 0, 0, 3 to the n. Using this, I now see that the exponential of this matrix A is going to be the sum, n goes from 0 to infinity, of these matrices 2 to the n, 0, 0, 3 to the n, and every entry I will divide by n factorial. And what I am doing is I am looking at the matrix of all of these sums. The sum n goes from 0 to infinity of 2 to the n over n factorial, 0, 0. The sum n goes from 0 to infinity of 3 to the n over n factorial. And now we pause and we look at the definition of e to the x. e to the x is the sum from 0 to infinity of x to the n over n factorial. What I have here is I have 2 to the n over n factorial. So over here the 2 is going to be my x, and over here the 3 is going to be my x. If I add up a whole bunch of zeros, I get nothing, I just get 0. So using the definition of e to the x in its Taylor form, we see that this matrix is going to become e squared. 0, 0, e cubed. So in fact, what we have is we have a nice formula for computing the exponential of a matrix when the matrix is diagonal. In other words, when the matrix is diagonal, to exponentiate the matrix, all I do is I exponentiate the diagonal entries. Let's see another example. Let's find the exponential of A, where A is the matrix 0, 0, 1, 0. Again, in order to compute the exponential of this matrix, I'll need to find every single power of this matrix. So let's look at A squared first. So A squared will be 0, 0, 1, 0. 
times 0, 0, 1, 0. And if we multiply this out, what will we see? We'll have a 0 times 0, a 0 times 1. That will give me a 0 here. I'll have a 0 times 0, a 0 times 0. That will give me a 0 over here. A 1 times 0 and a 0 times 1. That gives me a 0 over here. And a 1 times 0 and a 0 times 0. That gives me a 0 over here. So when I square the matrix A, I get 0. From this, we see that A to the N will be the 0 matrix if N is bigger than or equal to 2. So let's compute the exponential of this matrix. The exponential of A will therefore be equal to the identity matrix plus the matrix A using my formula. And then every other term in this expansion is 0. So there will be a whole bunch of 0 matrices. And so all I need to do to compute the exponential of this matrix is take the identity matrix and add it to the matrix A. So our exponential will be 1, 0, 0, 1, plus the original matrix A, which is 0, 0, 1, 0. And this will give me 1, 0, 1, 1. Thank you very much.